Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be talking about a wonderful AI digital tool called Perplexity. Uh, I want to stress I'm not sponsored in any way for this video to share this uh, great AI tool. But uh, if you want to learn a little bit more about perplexity, then please keep on watching. So I used to always say to teachers, don't use any AI digital tool like Google because it's just looking at algorithms and patterns and, and language. it's a large language model and put together words based on those patterns from those algorithms. However, there are some great digital tools that you can use as a starting point instead of Google because, for example, Perplexity will give you links to direct sources that you can actually check, factually check the information and the summary that it's giving you. I'm just going to move myself out of the way to this corner here. And you can see that uh, it's a very nice, simple interface. And I'm going to look for research papers for and against inquiry-based learning because this topic has resurfaced again in social media. You've got both camps, either inquiry-based learning and the direct instruction camps really advocating for their individual pedagogical approach. And I always say it's not a binary situation. It's a very nuanced, complex situation where there is a beautiful interplay between inquiry-based learning and also some direct explicit instruction. Okay, so let me just type in what are the pros and cons. I've got that copied from before. Uh, let me just tidy that up. What are the pros and cons of inquiry-based learning? Please give links to research papers. Okay, and then let's just see what it comes up with. So I'm going to press enter. And already I've got the sources up here. There's like five sources altogether. And it actually gives a lovely summary, pros and cons. And then you see these little numbers here. They're the direct links to the sources, which you need to cross check. So I always say with any AI digital tool, make sure that you always cross check the information, the factual information. And I think this will save a lot of time when you're actually researching any kind of educational issue. So that was just a really quick example of perplexity. I've started using perplexity as part of my workflow, using it instead of Google as a starting point, and then clicking on the sources, checking the sources, and then ensuring that the information that I'm giving is accurate. As we know, it's still only a large language model. It uses Copilot in this particular example, but it still will hallucinate and it will still give you inaccurate information. So you do need to cross check with the sources. But I hope that you found this video useful and thank you for joining me this week. I hope to see you next time.